Hey everybody, John and Good here. All right, we are empty. Local time is 12.56. Maybe I shouldn't have said all those good things about Costco. They didn't do too well today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the way life works, right? I don't know, as I said, I'm not superstitious, but sometimes certain things causes me to think twice or cost, uh, you know, question that. Don't talk about it. Don't jink it. Thank you. We'll catch you guys later. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon greetings from Brookshire, Texas. All right, we are uh, we are empty and headed to San Antonio, Texas to pick up a load at uh, Starbucks, which is 100 67 miles away Let's refresh the uh, the route That way I can show you what it looked like Costco we don't need that anymore Flying J we don't need that anymore All right Calculating Way station five miles. Pretty straightforward. So we'll see you there. Not much to show you here. The local time is 3:02. Our arrival estimate time is uh, 5:25. Our pickup appointment is at 8. Temperature here is 97 degrees. Our current odometer reading is 680, 605. Let's go. Faith. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Seguin, Texas. S E G U I N, Texas. Elevation here is uh, five five hundred feet. All right, the local time here it is four four seven p.m. Continuing our journey to San Antonio, Texas. Forty two more miles to go. Temperature is at 99 degrees, and yeah, the uh, the air conditioner just quit here in the front. But I do have a uh, I do have a very powerful fan that is blowing from the cab from the sleeper to the cab. The air conditioner is still blowing cold air, per se, in the bunk. But the blower seems to be blowing somewhere. The boss said it's somewhere, it's some kind of an actuator that's stuck in an open or closed position. That's why it's not blowing air here. But, as I mentioned, there's a, um, a really powerful electric fan blowing from the bunk to the front, which makes it bearable. It will fix itself after I stop running it for 30 minutes. It's just one of those things, I guess. All right. Uh, well, that's just a short uh, update for you. God willing, we can make it there by sometime about 525, probably. Hopefully the traffic jam is not so bad, being Friday. So, Alright, later. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon greetings from San Antonio, Texas. Alright, we are just about... 0.6 miles to Interstate 410 bypass. We're going to take 410 south. We are down to. I have no idea. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. We are down to what is it? Uh, 18 miles to a place of our pickup. The local time is 554. Temperature is 103. Oh my, 103. That is something else. Traffic has been really, really bad. The air conditioners are back. They're working really nice now. I don't know what it is. It'd be working really great and then next thing you know without even touching it, it just quits. The blower keeps blowing, but it doesn't, somehow, as I mentioned yesterday, somehow it's like the air is blowing out somewhere, because I, I could hear the motor blowing really fast, but I don't feel the, 
air coming in through the vents. We gotta get off here and exit 49, 16 south, and something something. Take exit 49, then merge onto I-410 Access Road. Looks like we have to make a uh, like a U-turn. I think it's continue on I-410 Access Road for three quarters of a mile. That's got to be the one right there. They're on the long side of the road, but on the, on the north side of the uh, 410. In half a mile, slight left onto Southwest Loop 410 Access Road. famous for the U-turn under the uh, overpass kind of a deal. Alright, the local time is 6.11. Temperature is 105. I was parked for about 10 minutes and according to the uh, instrument panel it got up to 114 degrees while we are uh, I was parked That's crazy hot in 600 feet, slight left onto Southwest Loop 410 Access Road. Slight left onto Southwest Loop 410 Access Road, then turn left onto I-410 Access Road. problem with this U-turn design that they have here in Texas, they never make them wide enough. Nope, we're up the curb. 
Turn left onto I-410 Access Road, Southwest Loop 410. Continue on I-410 Access Road for three quarters of a mile. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Teal Avenue. Okay. Turn right onto Teal Avenue, then your destination will be on the left. Your destination is on the left. Well, we'll have to figure this one out later. Hey everybody, all right, we've been assigned to door five. The local time is 9.50. Our uh, pickup appointment was eight o'clock yeah needless to say it did not go well <laughs> but this is not the first time we uh, experienced this delay and certainly would not be the last one either so
right ladies and gentlemen we are finally loaded as you can see the local time is 1044 temperature is uh, according to the app according to the app it's 86 degrees and we got 1635 miles to Capitol Heights, Maryland. Let's see. Let's do that. Calculating. Video protected. And that is our route. Basically the same route as uh, we came down with. So... Total time, 24 hours to run 1,635 miles if we were to go non-stop, of course. There, here we go. I don't know how far I'll get tonight. I'll try to make it on the other side of uh, Houston. That way we don't have to deal with the traffic tomorrow, you think? Today is Friday. But knowing Houston, that traffic jam is almost 24 hours, 24-7. This load is brokered through Covenant Transportation.
57 miles from here to Beaumont. I think we can handle that. I think I can, I think I can. Uh -huh. If you like that video, hit the like button. There's going to be plenty more 